Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Hey everybody, it is Monday. You were trying to figure out what you were doing there. I don't, I don't know. know. I make moves as I come in the studio <laughs> there. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know. It's, but anyway, we are, look who's joining us. Mikey Hello. Hood. Hi. Heather is off this week. Yeah. Some really well-deserved well time deserved. off. Absolutely. Yeah. And so we're throwing, I feel like, you know, we see you in the studio every once in a while, mm -hmm. but we haven't like hosted together in a long we time. Haven't. Well, it's been, I want to say maybe at least like four weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I wasn't, really? Yeah, I, I wasn't. I don't have a recollection of that. Just, I see I how was, special no, I am I to you, No, I know you special, and I don't remember that. Really? It was, yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, now I'm starting off in the doghouse, aren't I? I was trying to say something nice, and now, yeah. Let's we did, talk. Not for a whole week, did we? No, just for one day. It was oh, just for okay. a day. okay. All right. Doesn't make right. it any better, but. The, okay. <laughs> Let's move on and talk about the weekend, and I'm going to try to dig myself out of this. <laughs> did you have a nice weekend? I did. Let's, let's start with your weekend. Okay, all right. Think? Well, uh, first off, I want to show you. So I talked about how last weekend was my dad's 80th birthday, and I want to show you one of the cards he got because it is so cute and so special. So oh. cat selfies. Yeah. Because, of course, we know that my dad has this cat, Marvin, mm -hmm. that we've show, shared with the audience before. Uh, so then you open up the card, and the next picture shows you the card is happy birthday, love Marvin. Marvin signed Marvin the cat. Sent, How cute. And you know what? And so at first my dad didn't know who this was from. And now it's okay because I can reveal this because my dad now knows. It's from Jill, <laughs> our producer. How Isn't she adorable. sweet? She's so thoughtful She's and so creative. Thoughtful. Yeah, she is. I was I was wondering, like I didn't know that Marvin knew how to write. <laughs> well, <laughs> He's you a know very what? Talented cat. I would not be surprised because Marvin <laughs> is a talented cat. But uh, no, this was from Jill, and I just thought it was sweet, so I wanted to share it. And so now cute. here's a picture of actual Marvin He's from this so weekend. Adorable. I love his eyes. They're just oh. like. He's look at me, stare into my eyes. Like, yeah, he's, he's mesmerizing. Just, yes, he is. And I, I'll give you a little update. Uh, so it used to be when I would like walk up to him with my phone to take a picture, he would like back away or look scared or quizzical. Now this is what he does. I mean, he poses, he puts his little paws out, and he's like, "I'm ready for the I, camera. <laughs> I'm ready for my close up now." Um, so and his other new thing, mm -hmm. and we have to talk. We're talking to Dr. Mike later in the show, yeah. and so I need to ask Dr. Mike this because Marvin will—he won't jump up on the table, but he'll reach up like onto the coffee table or an end table and just start pulling everything really? off from the edge. Yeah, and then he just gets this really satisfied look, like. <laughs> I wonder what that's about. I don't know like what that's what he's about. What he's trying to communicate. Maybe I don't there's know. too much stuff on the table. Maybe. Maybe he, well, like, that's what we're to learning to have cleaning. fewer things on the table. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. Um, and then I have a couple more pictures I want to show. One is I wore obnoxious orange on Saturday. This is this is like an orange shirt that I would never normally wear. I like that color orange. Matter of fact, that's the only color orange that I like. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, well, I, I forget what it's called, though, but it's not like a true orange. I call it Syracuse orange, and I was wearing Syracuse, it. Syracuse, yes. Because Syracuse, my alma mater, was playing Saturday night, and things didn't go I was as say, planned. I was going to say, okay. Uh, but I am not surprised, because I'll make a confession here. Every time that I attended any kind of game in Syracuse itself, whenever I was there, they lost. They lost. So I, I quit attending anything because I thought, <laughs> in the sake of school spirit, I'm not going. And then I wore the orange on Saturday. And, and they lost. Thinking, You're like a bad luck charm. You're I not like, I, I think when Heather, Heather, she stopped watching the Steelers. Play. Right. Like, so when she didn't watch, they won, right? Exactly. It's sort of the same thing. Same thing. And then my last picture is just something that made me smile because even though Ron mentioned possible snow later in the week, We'll hear from him later on. There are blossoms out there, and this is a blossom from the magnolia tree in the backyard. And I saw it yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, I got to get a picture of this, just because so it's pretty. it makes me happy." Yeah, was, that you know, was the I'm only ready one for there. That was well, the that was the biggest one. Mm -hmm. the, the whole tree is starting to blossom, but that yes. was the biggest one. So that was my weekend in a nutshell. Woohoo! You had a good weekend. You did have a good weekend. <laughs> what about you? I had a good weekend too. I went to the zoo. 
Oh, yeah. oh, I love the zoo. I mean, what was I? I can't remember the last time I I went and I took my adopted niece. I like to call her Milan. She's four years old and. We had a blast. That's her eating cotton candy there. She wouldn't share any, but I tell you, <laughs> the, the lines to get into the zoo, they were rather long. Like when we pulled up, we got okay. to like around 1030. And, uh, but, but they moved very quickly. Mm -hmm. So the lot, the cars were kind of lined up. So once we got in, we walked and we had to wait in another line. But it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. And all of the animals were out. The animals were not in quarantine. So it, it That's was just, good. yes, yeah. it, was, it was very nice. Well, and I think a lot of people are looking for something where they can go and be outside right. and be able to move around mm -hmm. and get cotton candy because that looked delicious. <laughs> that, was, that was the best part. <laughs> And she really didn't share? No, she didn't. You didn't get any? No, I didn't get any. All right, we'll, have to, we'll go back and get cotton candy for yeah. you, Mikey. We'll <laughs> go back. All right, and see, what else did I do this? Oh, of course, I played with Wilson. The, I mean, oh, we get I, to see Wilson. See, what I, I'm trying to teach him Wilson how is to so big. fetch. Yes, he is. And bring it back. But we're having so a he challenge. Gets it. He gets it. And then and it looks like he's it bringing it back. Okay. But then he walks right past me. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's we're working so on we, it. So we should ask Dr. Mike about that we too. We should. I don't know right. how to this, get him this to is drop be the ball. a ball. clinic just for us <laughs> yes, for, with Dr. Mike. <laughs> but he's doing well, so he loves to play catch. But he, I, lo he looks happy too. I mean, yeah, there he goes. Sometimes <laughs> I we have friends that we had to whisper. We had to, not whisper, but we would spell out mm -hmm. B A L L because we oh. did not want Max, their dog, because Max loved it so much mm -hmm. that if you said, do you want to play ball? Like if you heard the word ball, he was like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That's kind of Wilson. Like if he sees it and we're not out playing ball, like he tries to get it and run yeah. for it and he likes to play in the house too, which causes a little bit of destruction. So we like to, to reserve that for outdoors. For outdoors in the but, parking lot or wherever. Yeah. yeah, so we're working we're working on. Beautiful dog, Mikey. Yes, thank you. What a cute He's dog. He's a lot of fun. And then I got a little inspired by you. I remember this must have been a couple of months ago and you made crab cakes. Oh yeah, the, the crab show. cake right. recipe, yeah. I, I didn't follow your recipe, <laughs> however. <laughs> Inspired. Okay, Mikey. <laughs> so I'll still I've, take that as a compliment. I've never made crab cakes before, so I mm -hmm. stopped past Woolies. I was like, you know, I want to get like the best crab meat. Mm -hmm. Crab meat is expensive. It is expensive, and you I don't always. No I mean, clue. we we don't always use the highest. And mm -hmm. like you can get other crab meat that's that's still works. Right, in like crab the cake. lump crab meat. It was like thirty bucks a can. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I looked, I mean, this was like across the board. I looked at all different stores. So anyway, so I got just like regular crab meat. Yeah. And instead of flour, I wanted to use almond flour to like cut down on the carbs. Okay. Yeah. Tasted the exact same. I kind of burned the one underneath a little bit. I browned it, a, so I stuck it underneath there. Oh, is that the one underneath? Yeah, underneath. Oh, that just looked like a hamburger. No. <laughs> I left I mean, that one in the I, oil I a little too long, but it's okay. You know? I, I ate it and it tasted fantastic. Oh, I love crab they cakes. They were so good. We so, had crab cakes too this weekend, but really? we didn't make them. And I was tempted because they had them already made. Um, yeah. Behind the counter mm -hmm. at Woolies, but I said no. I want to try this myself. So the almond flour it worked out great, and I good I didn't for feel you. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the extent of your week? <laughs> that is. That's it. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought maybe you had one more thing. I wasn't sure. That is all. all. Right. Well, if you are missing on your weekends, maybe going to your favorite watering hole, um, <laughs> that we have something for you to tell you about. So last week, we told you about really an unusual idea. Uh, and it, Miller Lite came out with these candles that smell like bar. Um, yeah. So they, <laughs> they labeled it dive bar, game day bar, and beer garden, and we don't exactly know what they smell like, and we're not gonna know because here's what we're reporting this morning: they sold out of these in 24 hours. I'm they were surprised. that popular. I mean, I'm, well, first of all, I love candles. Second mm -hmm. of all, I mean, people are really missing like yeah. just the whole sensory of being out, and, and smells 
is included. Smell is yeah. part of smell is <laughs> very just, important. Aromas, we should say, take you aroma. take you away to there places. They bring back memories. Uh, we should also say that there there it was a fundraiser. So they were raising money for service workers who of course have had a very rough year. So I suspect that was part of the reason why it sold out in 24 hours. Yeah, I, I wonder what dive bar smells like. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> if they reissue any of the candles, we will jump on the internet yeah, that's immediately the one I want. and try to get dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So there's also two uh, bar owners in California who came up with another idea. So if mm -hmm. you, you know, if smells don't have you there. Uh, they came up with sounds. It's like all sounds about of sounds. The bar. It's all about so they have a website, mm -hmm. uh, and it's called uh, what is it called? I love my bar. That's yes. what it's called. <laughs> I miss my bar, or I love my bar. I love my bar. I love my bar. And you can choose different sounds. So they have little recorded tracks there. People talking. Uh, the full, the sound of a full room, like with it packed with people. Rain on the window. Oh, I like that one. Night ambiance. Uh, serving drinks and street ambiance. And so we just want to play one of them here. Here's a sample of people talking. And see if it takes you away. Close your eyes and see if it takes you back to like, you know, having drinks out and about. I think that's pretty good. I like that. I mean, I oh, I just want to be back out with people. <laughs> just think it, it really works. It'll happen, you know. Yeah. Although I, that sound might might be muffled a little bit mm -hmm. by social distancing and all that kind of stuff yeah. whenever we, we go back. But I, I think that's interesting. It's an interesting website too. So and it's free. So I'm I miss my bar. I love it. Okay. All right. Well let's talk about Dolly Parton. Like I this I know this is right up your alley. So she has a new ice cream mm -hmm. named in her honor and this sounded so delicious. Um, so a company called Jenny's came out with this. Um, this is on their website and it's strawberry pretzel pie and they say mm. it's an ode to the queen of country doesn't that sound mm. so it sounds good pittsburgh you're salivating too. right well, now David. Know, strawberry pretzel pie sounds like strawberry pretzel salad which we in pittsburgh know very well oh it has layers of salty pretzel streusel anything with streusel is delicious sweet and tangy cream cheese and uh, strawberry sauce and the best part that Jenny says that the flavor will benefit Dolly Parton's imagination library um, and so that's a program we all know they give books to kids uh, for free mm -hmm. and it goes from birth to age five and then they also expanded the program here in Pittsburgh. Yeah we talked nice. about it on PTL yeah. when they expanded what was it a year or two ago mm -hmm. for the first time in Pittsburgh and so they're up and operating in Pittsburgh. I love this program because reading is so important to Dolly Parton and she wants to to make sure that young people read as well. And we learned this morning that the ice cream is go going to be available starting in April, but we don't know where. Like, can we get it in Pittsburgh? Yeah, that's, I thought I've you were going to say you Jenny's. learned this morning that they were bringing us some for no, the show. No, I would love morning. Well, that would be a nice thing, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> but maybe we can track that down and we can track down Dive Bar the Candle. And we'll get maybe we get both of those. By That'll the end be of the a week. fun show. <laughs> That'll be I can't a fun wait show. For that. Hopefully, we can get it done by the end of the week. <laughs> right now, it's time for a break on this Monday PTL because coming up, we have a story we we think you're going to flip over. Yeah, quite literally. Yeah. Selena Pompiani <laughs> met up with an amazing self-taught gymnast to find out about his impressive ability to flip and jump over just about everything. Now, she will even show us her own skills. So, are any of those people Selena? I don't no, think I don't so. See, no, I don't see <laughs> Selena. All right. Oh, we did see her uh -huh. at the beginning. Well, stay with us to meet this local guy. You will see flipping all around town and see what Selena has up her sleeve, too. Oh, boy. All right. We're also talking pop news. See if you can tell who this celebrity wedding crasher is. The answer <laughs> is just ahead. <laughs> Plus, baby and movie news, too. Today's Pop Talk Live. And do you have questions about your pets? Dr. Mike is here with the answers. Plus a warning about spring dangers for your pets. That's coming up as well also. Yeah, it's all ahead this Monday, March 29th, 2021. Thanks for watching. PTL, we'll be right back.